My name is uh, Jonathan Haley. I'm a lieutenant for the uh, City of Memphis Division of Fire Services. Um, I was frontline for a long time. Uh, now I currently work on grants, uh, grant opportunities, and just project implementation for the department. I get to see a lot of areas of the job that I didn't know existed before. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm doing everything to going through prevention, working with investigations, uh, working on fleet services, finding grants in whatever area I can, SCBA, things that I normally wouldn't have got uh, to take part in and, and share like the experience and just the knowledge um, the knowledge pool on all that. I really like to uh, get into like process improvement. One of our deputy chiefs was approached by someone at Zero RPM about their unit, and um, they ended up working out an arrangement where we could where we could test it out. Um, I didn't know much about the auxiliary power units or the Zero RPM idle mitigation before coming onto the project, but what the system does, um, it basically shuts down the diesel engine when it's put in park, and then it uses auxiliary power, a battery system with, of course, a computer brain box too to run the air conditioning, to run the heat, to run the lights, to run any um, emergency equipment in the back of the box of the ambulance. And it does all this without producing any emissions and it's completely quiet. Um, so that's how the system works. It has a telematics dashboard where it shares all the uh, emissions reductions. The emissions reductions at zero RPM is showing is, is pretty significant. And when you talk about working around vulnerable populations, and that's exactly what we do when we're on scene or if we're in those ambulance bays, this thing's cutting all that away. We all know what those ambulance bays look like um, and, how, and how they're arranged. And when you have nine or 10 um, ambulances down there idling um, while you're waiting on uh, patient offload for whatever's going on in the hospital there, uh, it's pretty significant. And you know, just, just where that goes and how it makes its way into the hospital or just around to all the people that are you know, manning the ambulances uh, when they're down there doing their reports or filling that stuff out, it, it's significant. We don't, we don't want to have that. We don't want to breathe that in. We all know that. We've noticed on scene, like our frontline guys, um, when, they, when, when these systems first went in, working around the ambulance for them and anyone coming out on scene, wherever you are, there's no emissions. We all know we want to conserve fuel. I mean, look at the prices of fuel right now as they're shooting up with what's going on in the world. Um, so we're, we need to do these things, but I don't think the technology has been there yet where you can go completely green. I haven't seen it for um, fleet purchases for us, but with zero RPM, it's so accessible. I mean, like it, it makes a really big difference at, uh, at, a, at a minimal amount of cost. We're showing about six to $7,000 a year in fuel savings. Um, our idle time has zero RPM is kicking in. I think it's about 68 to 69 percent of the time. Um, it's cutting the engine off, which is reducing our engine hours and prolonging our uh, preventive maintenance service. We do our preventive maintenance on engine hours um, just because we're so, because we're so busy, um, and it's reduced that. It's cut that down by about a third. And for us, we were we were showing somewhere around another 1,500 to. Uh, two thousand um, dollars a year in savings um, so it's 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 showing uh, that it, there's less wear and tear on the engine I think it's really attainable it's 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 easy to implement and it and it makes a big difference um, I think one of the things that I would recommend for the fire departments, there's money out there. If you talk to your, uh, in a, for Memphis, we have a division of sustainability and planning. Uh, we link up with the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation. And, and then there's federal money. This green initiative is kind of happening. And I think with a little scratch in the surface, you can go out and find some funding that will, may help offset the initial cost um, if, that's, if that's a big hurdle for you. But I also think that if you, if you give it a chance, you can reach out to me. I, I'm, I'm more than welcome to share any data with you, but the, uh, the zero RPM folks are going to tell you the same thing. I think if you sit down and do a cost best benefit and do a return on investment, you'll see it's worth, uh, it's worth implementing for your department. And I think if we all together could do this, we know how many ambulances are out running around the street. If we all could do this together, I think we can make a big difference.